que está. Quiero My Spanish isn't that good. <laughs> Bye. All right. LA. LA United Fan TV, 2-0 win, and yeah, I mean, it's one of those uh, where we were clinical uh, for their goals, at least, but there were some times where, yeah, we didn't put in the back of that maybe when we really should have and could have could have been uh, buried a lot earlier, but either way, we're on to the Eastern Conference Finals. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of chances that we could have made. Uh, Joseph had literally, I, I don't want to say like open net, but... He had a couple of chances where that should have been slotted easily, but uh, Andre Blake decided to show up, unlike he did against Red Bulls. Um, but all credit to Andre Blake, he's an amazing goalkeeper. Um, but Brad Guzan, I've probably said this too many times, you know, but Brad Guzan's had a phenomenal season, and some of the saves that he's made just in these two playoff games has been outstanding. Uh, as far as that defensive line goes, yeah, it, it was a little shaky, but. Um, you know, Darlington Nabby really stepped up. Instead of, instead of being like that kind of controlling midfielder that, he, that we know him to be, he kind of stepped back a little bit into that back line and came back down the middle kind of like what Miles does and uh, controls the ball and tries to take it away and then shoots it off to either Mikey or LGP or Pogba. Mikey Ambers had actually a really surprising game for me. I saw him in the lineup. I was kind of sketched out. But, uh, you know, from the last time that we saw him, it was kind of a night and day performance. Right. So. Yeah, he's been balling out for the twos. So I think, uh, you know, him also scoring for some free kicks and, and whatnot at twos, I think he's been emboldened by some, uh, you know, some goals and performances that have been pretty uh, pretty good I think really but uh yeah in terms of that back four in terms of yeah really kind of going with a different shape completely to start the game uh obviously yes it is kind of uh you know it startles you at first but I think uh they did quite well right yeah I think they did really well with it uh when it, when it came to controlling because obviously we're without miles we're without parky um so for what we had we were really we did really well at controlling it um now obviously come next Wednesday we have a really strong Toronto team that's been you know has been really showing that you know they're ready to come for a cup yep. um because they, they, they have that experience right you know they won that their tr version of the treble that season so yeah they have uh you know the knowledge of how to win in the postseason and yeah like last year you know they kind of had what we had with you know dealing with champions league campiones cup and they didn't really handle it as well as we did obviously we had our struggles in the beginning of the season but um toronto came back this season you know they start off a little slow but then you know posuelo i don't care what anyone says i'm a posuelo fan I, I really like how Pozuelo plays. Uh, he was really good at controlling the ball and attacking. And that's something that our back line's got to watch out for come next week because Pozuelo can attack and he can pop out of nowhere. Yep. Uh, so without Altidore or not, you know, they, they all they really need is that one opening spot. And with De Leon and Pozuelo, they can really pop out. But, you know, I think with enough, you know, with six days to practice and to prepare um, and with hopefully 70,000 screaming fans here, um, well, uh, today was a Thursday, you know, yeah. ne next week is a Wednesday. It might not be, you know, open to the upper bowl. So it's uh, one of those things where, yeah, I mean, I think we still took care of business with enough energy with the 45,000 or so. Oh, no doubt. If you remember Open Cup, we had 35,000. And like I said in the video, I thought it was a little, it was almost as loud as MLS Cup. Um, it just shows that you know, our numbers can multiply just in voice. Um, but, you know, it's the playoffs, it's unpredictable, and you can't count any team out. This video is sponsored by Boru Boru Sushi. Get a $10 gift card when you mention Fan TV to our sponsor. Boru Boru is a fast, casual eatery inspired by Japanese cuisine, with a touch of today's approach towards custom-built meals for everyday lifestyle. Specializing in sushi bowls, poke bowls, and sushi burritos in a delicious way. It's Customer Appreciation Week, so get in on their specials from October 28th through November 3rd. Yeah!